What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane, and welcome to Let's Play the demo of a fan game known as Resident Evil Code Madman. So basically what this game is, is that when Resident Evil 4 was in production, uh, the original concept was not the Resident Evil 4 we know today, but is a uh, version of the game where you play as Leon and he explores a mansion that's full of ghosts and a monster known as the Hookman. I remember seeing some footage that was leaked onto YouTube a long time ago, and it would've been interesting to uh, play that version of the game instead of, you know, even though Resident Evil 4 is an amazing game, uh, it was really interesting to see that, but we'll never get to play that. But someone made a fan game based off of that uh, original build known as uh, the Hookman or whatever. Uh, it's called Code Madman. Uh, took a while for me to get this uh, to where I want it. Uh, there are two outfits you could pick. Normal is just the outfit that Le uh, Leon starts with in Resident Evil 4 uh, with his jacket. Uh, so I'm curious what Resident Evil 4 or RE4 is. But anyway, we're going to start the demo. Uh, this game is free to download. And I don't know how long it is. And he wears the same outfit. <laughs> There's no difference in outfits. Anyway. But yeah, it took me a while to get this game running to the way I want it, uh, but now everything looks pretty good. This game looks amazing. Uh, this game, I was playing a lot around with it too. I played a little bit into it, but not a lot. But yeah, this game looks fucking great. Uh, this mansion is like the same mansion design as the one from uh, Resident Evil 1. And in case you have not seen or played Resident Evil 1, uh, this is the same layout as that mansion from the Resident Evil 5's uh, DLC, Lost in Nightmares. This game looks great. The broken down nature of this place gives it a certain elegance. See, he doesn't really say anything when he comes in. I don't know why he's here. He's here to investigate. But yeah, standard... Uh, it's like they ripped Leon from uh, Resident Evil 4 out to play this game. But yeah, I explored this mansion beforehand and... Uh, all these doors are locked except this one. I don't know if there are any uh, ammo or whatever. This game could be played with a keyboard, but uh, fuck that. Play with a controller. Uh, would make a nice spot for a portrait. It would, Leon. It would. Leon S. Kennedy. This game looks fucking fantastic. So yeah, all these doors are locked, and then you have this sound here. <laughs> you alright, Leon? Oh my god. Actually, I haven't tried the knife yet, but what I don't like about the knife is that he puts the flashlight away. It's much safer to go here. Also, he appears to have infinite bullets in this build. What? Hi. You alright? So for whatever reason, you can see the red in his eyes. That's bad. A victim to the T virus. No wounds. Better write this in my diary. Yeah, you do that. See, I don't know how long this demo is, but we're gonna be playing quite a bit of it. Cause like, with Resident Evil Seven out, like. I said it in a vlog, I'm not exactly, uh, not exactly in the mood for Resident Evil 7 based on just how it is. Like, I remember some people were talking about how they're a little concerned about the direction that it's taken. It does look like an amazing game, but I'm in a mood for Outlast 2, but Resident Evil 7, for some reason, is not... I haven't played really the old school Resident Evil games. Uh, I've watched them on YouTube, uh, the first... First one, second one, third one. I played four, five, and six, and I'm really in the mood for those games. Unfortunately, I, I like the third-person action ones. What happened to this place? So yeah, there's a victim of the T virus. He just kind of assumes that. Yeah, it's got the classic camera angles and stuff. I heard a weird sound. Uh, no, the stairs are this way. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I don't know what's down here. 
It's a floating piece of paper. Okay, now this is where I stopped. And now... This is a page from my diary. Who snagged it? Leo looks great. But yeah, that sucks that uh, his normal outfit isn't... Is just this. Which I find weird. Alright, so yeah, we're into the part of the game that I have no clue. What's gonna happen now? Oh, that's still locked. Is that the uh, same room are we supposed to go into? Yeah, it took a little bit for me to get the controller working too. Motion Joy doesn't work, so I have to use SCP monitor to get this running. See, like I said, the original build had ghosts in it. So I'm very curious. What could be waiting upstairs? Whole decor feels very superficial. Oh, it's just a chandelier, a fancy chandelier. The controls are something to get used to, too. What happened to this place? So it's not this room. Could have sworn this mirror was damaged. Well, it's not anymore. Did the whole house change? What about this? Secret, uh... Secret thing? The Spencers were all... Oh, so this is the Spencer Mansion. I guess he explores the Spencer, uh, Spencer uh, estate. From Resident Evil 1, I guess. Because in, uh, in the footage of... Uh... Oh. What? The hell is this? Yeah, and the original concept for, uh, or the footage I saw, like, it didn't look like the Spencer Mansion. That's really weird. Well, I'm stuck in here now. I'm fucking scared now. What the fuck? That didn't break. Yeah. What just... what happened? I'm fucking scared now. Fuck. That's pretty creepy. What? Was I in the mirror world or something? Uh, I don't see anything that catches my eye. There must be something down here. He was kind of looking over here, so I assume... Oh! What? So this is what was holding the doors he just gave in? Looks like it. That was a really loud glass shattering, and I, I don't have the volume up that loud. I definitely don't. And sorry if I'm going through this game a little slow, but... I'm trying to be cautious, because the controls, again, are something to get used to. What do we got? <laughs> Is this the... This looks like the room from, uh... This looks like a level in Resident Evil 4 now. You had the, um... The cultist guys over here with the fucking shields and, the sh and shit. And the, um... 
ball and chains. And then there's the downstairs. Yeah, this is just Resident Evil 4. Weird. I mean, this is the Spencer Estate Basement. This game looks so good. I am s What? Huh. I am so for this instead of uh, Resident Evil 7 right now. I could go for that. Windows to the courtyard. Damn, I look good. This seems normal. Yeah, be careful. Again, it's funny how... I would normally be looking for items like bullets and stuff, but... Leon just happens to have infinite ammo. So... I still feel like searching corners, though. Alright. So here's the thing. If we do run into a ghost, which I'm assuming, how the fuck do you fight that? That looks like progression. That or us, the shooting range. Enter the red room. Oh. Shortcut? Okay. Strange. Is there another door that we did not go through? Like that one? Building up to something. No, I don't like it. Also, I, I don't know how you save either. So. Hopefully, we don't die and have to start from the very beginning. Yeah, this is just Resident Evil 4. Turn that off before I get copyrighted. <laughs> Don't want the bots to be like, oh, you're you're ripping off our music. It's like, no, I'm not. Locked by a key. We need a key. <laughs> We're not being chased by anything, so I don't know what the fuck the point is that for that camera is, but. Are there any gems on the ceiling? God, I want to play 4 again. Would you guys love a uh, let's play a 4? That shit's on PS4 for 20 bucks. I am so in the mood for that. What is that? Is that a statue? A doll? It is. Believe it or not, that is not a door. There's no uh, crows gonna fly in on the side either. Oh, all the paintings are gone. Yeah, this seems to have, like, a ghost realm system, or, or, like, a mirror world. Actually, it's not really a mirror world. No? That's where it sounds like it's coming from. Wait, what's... Or, no, that's the radio. I don't know what's behind the corner, so I don't want to... It's not turning off. Alright then. It's 
doors. The door is from the inside. <laughs> okay. Somehow I missed this door. All right. Back to being scared now that I found a different room. All right. Oh, that's also just wide open. Who keeps taking me to this to these ghost realms like what the fuck? All right. Try to explore this place. Keeping a mental map of where I've been and where I haven't been yet. Okay. Oh, there's that door. We could try to go through, but let me, uh... Oh, I thought there was a body under the table. That would have been spooky. Well, I don't like it how it just doesn't show me what I'm running into. Come on. Is there a thing there? No. Alright. What? Yeah, it is the courtyard to Mirror World. I don't even know. Why do you say it like that? No, that's a strong ass mirror. It looks like a little crank. Or something. You know, just in case. Let me just see something. Okay, yeah, six rounds, and then he reloads. I just wanted him to just reload. Because there's no button to reload. Alright. Ooh, is that a key? Oh no, it's a the missing arm. I wasn't aware that it was missing. Something made a bang noise. Something made a bang bang noise. Door won't open? Why? So do I return with the doll? Wait, what happened here? Got something to say? I mirror pain and death? Oh shit, there are notes everywhere. The true mirror is reflected. Nope. Wait, is there something in the mirror? Wait, what? Um... This is evil. Better luck next time. Holy fuck. I didn't know that was gonna happen. That's pretty crazy. Sorry, the logic. <laughs> I can't think of it. Alright guys, so credit to Aesthetic Gamer. I watched his good ending part of this demo. And uh, so, shooting the reflection is bad, because that'll kill you. But you know what won't kill you? A knife. So yeah, that's how you get past that. I was afraid to I was afraid to knife it because I thought it was going to kill me again and there had to have been something else, but uh Yeah, I I just was a little scared. Am I am I dripping blood? I am. 
That's, that's a nice attention to detail. Like, in order to wake yourself up from a dreamscape like that, that's pretty sick. Someone's toying with me, some ghost. It's pretty rad. So, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I assume this is this way, or we take that, um... Or we go through that red door. That is spooky. No! We don't go- Because that's where the doll was, then why do we need the doll? I don't get that. Alright then, then we're gonna try the, uh... The red door, which was... Over here, I believe. Yeah, so that, that's a really simple solution to a puzzle. Like I said, I was just nervous. <laughs> Speaking of nervous. The He's just gonna tough it out and go in? <laughs> really? <laughs> Leon, don't be a hero. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't... I didn't, wasn't able to complete it myself without having to look it up, but still. It's a pretty simple uh, solution to a puzzle like that. I'm looking forward to this game when it finishes. I'm, I'm more looking forward to this than, uh, than 7, but... Uh, one day I'll play 7 when I'm in the mood for it. For, but other than that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. And I will see you next time. Man, this is going to be sick. Alright, you guys have a good one. Peace out.